Hello everyone, my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel, Carla Being Crafty. Today I'm here with a floss tube extra for you. Um, I'm kind of excited about the idea of doing this project and I, and I wanted to share it with you. So basically what I'm going to be showing you is a bunch of fabric flare slash dove stitch um, fabrics. Um, I have one that is, isn't a, um, a fabric flare, it's a, I got it from I think Fiberlicious. Um, but they're all printed fabrics. Um, that's the point. They're all printed fabrics, background type fabrics. And, um, and then I have a stack of the Nora Corbett Bewitching Pixies, which I am going to be putting on these, these fabrics. Um, so I was inspired by this project that I did, which was the, uh, Eva, the bitch, the Nora Corbett Bewitching Pixie. Uh, named Eva and I put it on this really pretty green um, fabric flare. Uh, this was a Garon ex a Stitchery Exclusives um, fabric um, but I just I saw the fabric and I remembered this pattern and um, so I got them and it was like a match made in heaven I think and I really loved how it stitched up. I loved the idea of doing um, the bewitching pixie on a background. I've always really kind of liked those patterns, um, but I had never pulled the trigger on getting them until I did this one, and then it just opened up this whole range for me of, wow, there's a lot of these really cool backgrounds, and I want to see what it would look like if I stitched them uh, uh, with the bewitching pixie. So this was kind of my inspiration piece. I feel like it came out really well, and um, and so I went from there. Now I have had people comment uh, when I've showed some of these backgrounds that they just don't see how anything would look good and they're too busy. And that is a valid, that is a valid point. And what I'm showing you guys, not everybody's gonna like it. Some people will be like, I never wanna stitch it. I never wanna stitch it that way. That's fine. This is just my creative brain that's going and um, they may not all be successes. Some of them might not look good, but um, we'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. This is just kind of what I am looking for right now. So I think kind of what I want to do is just kind of show you the fabrics, show you the pics, the bewitching pixies, the witches, and then kind of show you what my ideas are for which ones I would put where. Um, there's two fabrics that I actually bought twice because when I started kind of holding things up against the fabrics and realizing sizes, um, I realized that I kind of wanted the smallest, um, I've gotten 16 count Adas for all of these, and I wanted the smallest piece of fabric because when you're going with a printed fabric, if you get a bigger piece, it's just, it makes the, the picture bigger. Um, and I really wanted, I thought the smaller one would be better. So, um, so this is one of the first ones I got. I got this, I got this off of eBay. It's called Dragon Seller, C-E-L-L-A-R. And I thought it was really cool fabric. But again, when I started actually looking at the patterns that I'm thinking about putting on this, I felt like this piece was going to be too big. Oops. So I went ahead and got it actually going the other direction and I got this piece which I think is gonna look work better for my needs so that is dragon seller mm, where am I gonna put these things okay and then the other piece that I got twice was this one um, and I this I ordered from Dove Stitch so I ordered I got a couple from eBay I think I just got the one from eBay. And I got, as I said, one from uh, Fiberlicious. The rest I ordered from Dove Stitch. And just as a tip, if you are interested in these fabrics, you need to go to dovestitch.com, not Dove Stitch on Etsy, because uh, dovestitch.com has these fabrics and they're not on Etsy. So I saw this one. This one actually comes in three colorways. Um, and I really liked it. So I ordered it. But then I realized it was gonna kind of be big for the pixie that I wanna put on it. So I ordered the same fabric, just in, oops, hold on. 
the smaller size. Is this smaller? Did I order the same thing twice? No, this one is smaller. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's smaller, it's better. <laughs> okay. Then this is the one <clears throat> from Fiberlicious Yummy Fiber Company. Oh, and this one is called, I think, Wizard Background. And this is called Moonlight. this which has nothing to do with these pixies but I might as well show it to you um, this is a mermaid something um, it's really pretty and I will eventually use it for some kind of mermaid something but this is not for the pixies um, this I think it's like Charming Cottage or something Cottage or something like that. This one is, I think, Cemetery Gate with Moon. And then here's my two especially weird ones, considering what I want to put on this one. This one's called Out My Back Porch or Out My Back Door or something like that. Or View from the Back Door something <clears throat> and this one is panda something okay so the pixies that we have to work with are Minerva Zinnia, Gigi, Raven, Anna, And then I got this one too, which I just got it because I liked it. I don't know if this fits in with this kind of idea, but um, I got Witching Hour, which is the same sort of witch, but she's, you know, just kind of different. Oh, and then uh, Cleo. Now, I really like the girl I do not like these wing things on her back so those are going to not to be there I like her and the bird and the dress I don't like the wing things okay so what I did um, I have some pictures that I just got these off the internet and they're not sized properly or anything like that but I did get them just to kind of and I give an idea of what I'm going for here um, but then I also cut these pieces of paper based on the dimensions of the chart and obviously you know it'll put the full dimensions of the chart which is going to be more than where the girl actually is but that's what these papers are so I do have a few specific ideas in mind so the first one is uh, Minerva. And in this case, 
I'm not planning on this piece to stitch this tree thing and the owl, although I like it. What I like about her is that she's kind of like looking back over her shoulder and I thought that that would work really well on this fabric. Because if she's standing on the rock, looking over her shoulder, she's gonna be looking back at the castle. Like that. And I thought that that would look really cool. And let me see if I have the piece. So this piece is, this piece of paper is big because it includes like the tree and the owl. Let's see, it'll fit in there. So that's, that's my plan for this piece. Um, Gigi. I think Gigi would look good. I think Gigi would look good in this one, standing kind of like right here with her broom. I'm gonna fold this down just a little bit so I can hold it easier. Kind of like that. And the other thing that I'm thinking about doing if it fits is because I'm not using the owl in with Minerva, I'm thinking about putting the owl up here on top of the house. But um, So this is her piece of paper as far as size. But again, remember that it's taking into consideration the cat, you know, the bottom is, is much wider. So, you know, she would fit like right there really well. So that's what I'm thinking about for this one. Okay. Next. This dragon fabric. Or dragon seller fabric. You know, I thought about this. What I thought would work really well is Raven. Now, obviously, you have to take out the moon, but the fact that she's surrounded by bats totally makes sense in a cellar, right? So, if you take out the moon and she's standing there in the cellar surrounded by bats, I think that would be pretty cool. This picture is way smaller than how, she's, how big she's going to be. I could totally see that. So I think that is a pretty cool option. And I think that actually the blues would like, the blue and purpley colors in her gown would, uh, would pop against the brown. So that is my idea for Raven. Okay. Um, I'm thinking 
And all of this, of course, could change. Totally could change. But I'm thinking about Xenia without the arch. Right in the middle of this one. And of course, this includes the arch, so it wouldn't go this high. So she would fit nicely there with her drinks, kind of welcome you, welcome you, welcoming you into her castle, lair, whatever. I think that would look really cool. And the reds, of course, would totally pop on this gray fabric. So that is my idea for her. Okay, um, Anna. Yeah, Anna. Um, I'm thinking about her. Stick with me here. Standing on this porch, which I realize is kind of weird. Now this is this picture is way too small, but. Um, but I can see that and I think that with the colors in her and the fact that there's the apple and this is like kind of a fall scene I think that that would work I know it's a little out there Now, Cleo, possibly on this fabric. This one, I don't know. Um, I realize this fabric is kind of different, and I don't know if it would work with the Raven. Um, that I'm not sure about. That one I'm not sure about. But she could also possibly go on this. Although I don't know if the colors of her dress would work really well with this. I might have to change her colors. So that one, I'm not sure. Um, possibly even, I don't know. I don't know. I really like this fabric, so if I don't find a, a witch to put on her, then I'll find something else. But, um, and I'm always on the lookout. So this all could change if I find a fabric that I think works better. Um, so those are my last two that I have to like make decisions on. Um, but yeah, so I would love to know what you guys think. Um, again, I don't expect that everybody, that everybody who's going to watch this video is going to be like, oh, that's a great idea. I think some people will be like, you are nuts. That's going to look awful. Um, they're going to look stupid on those fabrics, you know, whatever, um, which is 100% valid. And you may be 100% right. I don't know. I won't know until I actually do it. But um, nevertheless... Um, I do have it in my plans. I don't know when. And obviously, there's like, how many of these here? One. Six or seven. Um, they're not going to happen all at one time. Um, I may start one of them as we go towards the fall. Um, I did uh, Eva. I started her in January and I finished her, I think, um, early March. So she didn't take very long to do. The, that's one thing I do like about the uh, Bewitching Pixies is they are not super complex patterns and they're not, um, they're not huge. So they are completely like doable in a reasonable amount of time. They're not like multi-year projects and they're not like a regular, you know, full on Mirabilia. They're a little bit more simple, um, but they do have like the beads and the sparkle and I think they're really like cute. Um, sophisticated even. Um, 
So I really like them and I enjoyed stitching on the printed fabric. Now this is not sponsored by Fabric Flare or Dove Stitch or anything. And if anybody from Fabric Flare or Dove Stitch sees this video and wants to sponsor me, wants to uh, collab and, and give me uh, fabrics to try and find weird projects to do with, please, I am totally open to it. But no, this is not sponsored. This is just something that I got in my head um, because I was fascinated by these background fabrics. So. I'd love to th uh, hear what you guys think about about these plans. Um, do you think any of the uh, ladies should be switched onto different fabrics than what I showed? Um, so yeah, let me let me know what you think. Um, and if you're intrigued by this, definitely go and look on the Dove Stitch website because there there's a lot. There's even more um, background type things. Um, some even like spookier ones, and some um, like meadows and, you know, and honestly, it's like, it's kind of cool to spark your imagination and see what you think might look good. Um, you don't know until you do it. I didn't know with this one until I did it, if it was going to look good or if it was going to, you know, look odd. And I think it ended up looking really good. Um, so yeah. Um, that, that's that's it that's my weird idea and my weird plans for the bewitching pixies and i would love to know what you think so until i see you guys again please remember to be content be kind and be crafty and this is carla bye bye